hyperbola has asymptotes y equal to 3 halves x plus 4 and y equal to minus 3 halves x minus 2. We also have a vertex at minus 2, 4. Find the center, the foci, and the eccentricity of the hyperbola. First, let's sketch what we're given just to get an idea of what our hyperbola looks like. So first, draw on the asymptotes, two straight lines, and then we're gonna have a vertex at this point right here. So that's gonna mean the branches of my hyperbola are gonna face up and then face down. So, on our list, we can get our center right away. That's gonna be the intersection of our asymptotes. So I take the equations for both lines, I set them equal to each other. When I solve them for x, we're gonna get x equal to minus two. And then if I take that minus two, put it back into either equation, we're gonna get a one out. So our center is gonna be minus two comma one. Now, as a check on our work, if you notice, the vertex that we're given has the same x value, and that makes sense since these should be directly above one another. Next, let's look at the standard equation for this hyperbola. So since the branches face up and down, our transverse axis is in the y direction. So that's gonna mean the x squared term picks up a minus sign. So we're gonna have our standard equation looking like this. y minus y zero squared over a squared minus x minus x zero squared over b squared equals one. To get a, a is just gonna be the distance from one of the vertices to the center. In this case, we have our two points, so we'll note the distance is gonna be three, so a is equal to three. How do I get b? Well, for b, we're gonna to have to take a closer look at the asymptotes. So if you have a and b, how do you find your asymptotes? Well, what you're gonna do is, in this case, go to your center, we're gonna go up by A over by B, and then do that in all four directions. That's gonna give me a rectangle. To get the asymptotes, I just connect the dots. So we're gonna go corner to corner through the center. So now, what do you notice? Well, what's the slope, say, of this line here? That's gonna be A over B. But we also know the slope of that thing is three halves. Since A is equal to three, that means B has to be equal to two. Now, for the foci, I'm gonna need another number C, which is gonna be given by C squared equals A squared plus B squared. In this case, we have A equal to three, B equal to two, square them and add them, that gives me 13. So C is gonna be equal to square root of 13. Then my recipe for the foci is, okay, take your center, then you're gonna take the Y value, add and subtract C from that. So our foci are gonna be at minus two, one, plus minus square root of 13. Okay, so there's the points, and then here they are on the picture. Now, since I have C, I can also get the eccentricity. That's just C over A, so I have square root of 13 over three, which is roughly 1.2. Now, for the sketch, I want the other vertex. So what I'll do is, I go to the center. I know the distance from the center to this vertex is three, so the other vertex is gonna be given by going down by three. So that's gonna be the point minus two, minus two. We draw in our asymptotes, so we put our rectangle in. Okay, so it's up three, down three, over two, over two in the other direction, get my box, and then just connect the dots. Now, to get the hyperbola, we just start at each vertex and then bring them up to the asymptotes. So that's the sketch of my hyperbola.